All right, guys. So this drill we just did right now, the side control transitions, that's a drill I learned as a kid. And I love that, like making my top game to another level. And uh, I have a lot of my fighters doing that, a lot of the, the kids, everybody, like I was saying before, you know, doing these drills. So the thing about this drill, I tell everybody in class, every time you're in a side control position and you feel like reaction, the person pushing, creating space, try bump you off, try replace guard, try to take your back, whatever situation it is, you guys should have shift your hip and switch. Because every time you switch from one side control to another side control, the person have to change a little bit the type of defense they use and they have to readjust and they have to try creating the defense. And with that, you always a step ahead and looking for submission. You keep switching your hip, the person in the bottom start panic because they want to get out of that and they start giving your arm or neck, all different situations, you know what I mean, you guys? And, or you can keep the side control through the whole time or you can get them out. So pay attention to those details, drill that as much as you can, all right? All right, guys, let's continue the side control transitions we did. Each one of those side controls we did in the previous video, uh, you can land in submissions, okay? So we're gonna work on this side control right here, okay? So look, I get the underhook, I get my knees right here. Look, straight to his body, I have my foot plan, I have my chest on these sides right here on the chest, not this one here, the way he can push me off, okay? So I'm controlling the position. So now what I'm gonna do, I wanna show you guys two different arm bars I like to do here. One arm bar on this arm and one reverse arm bar on this arm, okay? So what I wanna do, I wanna step over my foot over here. So I like to step over here. Look, I don't wanna lean all the way up to him, okay? So I wanna step over here. Some of you guys, if you have flexibility shoe, you can grab your foot and you can put your foot right there. Make sure you keep your hip on the ground and make sure you don't lean too much back. Stay up tired, up high. Now look what I'm gonna do. These arms over here, I'm gonna pinch my arm, my armpits, keep my elbow tight. Look, I'm not grabbing anything, I'm pinching his arm. And then through here, I'm gonna start arch it up and get the submission. So once again, I'm here a little bit higher. Here, lock, get the arm right there. See that? If you guys lean too much back, you're not gonna have the arm. You wanna make sure you really lock this tie right here. Look, the more you squeeze your elbow, the fast tap is gonna be. Okay. So sometimes I get over here and I lose the arm, he roll his thumb, whatever the situation, I don't have a tight grip, but I still get control of this one. So look what I'm gonna do, I pull this arm up, I lock right here, shrug my shoulder and my, and my ear right here, I'm pinching the arm together, and I'm wearing position here. Usually I like to use this blade, the bone right here, right above his elbow here, his triceps. So I lock right here, sometimes I go here, I like to bear hug, and look, get the submission right here, okay? And through that, sometimes you worry about the arm right there and his defender, I'll go right back to this one again. So I keep switching between both. So you go over here, didn't work, lock right here. Look, make sure you lock the arm. Look, you're right in position right there. So look, I like to turn the size right here, the, that bone, gonna be over here, right below his triceps. Okay, the way you guys don't have to rely too much on strength. Okay, here. Look at that where my arm is. If I go this way here, I have to squeeze harder, put more power right there. It takes longer. Over here is a fast tap. 